so today I am going to do some repotting. Well, I have my little chat with you today about how I fired my hair salon. Hello guys, how are you? If you weren't watching my vlog from yesterday called What I Did Today, I'm just gonna catch you up real quick. So I was looking for a bird bath yesterday and some shampoo, but uh, it was, I had a hard time finding either thing. Well, I only wanted to get the shampoo at one place, so I stopped looking when that place closed the doors on my face, and I couldn't find a bird bath that I liked or wanted. So today I just kind of shopped around a little bit more, got a few things, and I found a bird bath, and it's right there. I'm super excited, super excited. So I'm gonna set that up and I'm gonna repot some of the plants that I got yesterday. So I just wanna catch you up on what I did yesterday. Buying several plants because I decided I wanted to beautify my deck because it's very plain. And I haven't been in the mood to have plants for like 10 years. And I don't know, I just felt like that was the right thing to do right now. So uh, these are in my vlog from yesterday, what I did today vlog. I love this. I need to go back and get three more of these. These are citronella plants and they deflect mosquitoes and they smell, it smells so good. So I'm gonna get three more of those and I just love this one. I was gonna hang it up, but that hanger up there, I don't know if you can see it, broke immediately when I tried. I got this beautiful collection, beautiful, beautiful. I don't know why the flag's in there, but it is. And this beauty. So, so today I am going to do some repotting. Well, I have my little chat with you today about how I fired my hair salon. So today I want to talk to you about how I fired my hair salon and how this is a pattern in how we deal with relationships now that we have had this coronavirus thing. It is a result of the coronavirus, even if it doesn't seem like it's directly related, it is. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, so I'm going to just do this repotting and you saw my fiasco with the bird bath. <laughs> chemical inside of that hose and I don't know what that was but I didn't want to put it in the bird bath and at first I thought well it'll rinse out but I don't know what it is or how much it would stay in there and I just didn't want to contaminate the birds so I went to get my hose from the front but it was too tight and I couldn't get it off so fiasco that I did <laughs> to fill up the bird bath. It worked for now. So anyway, I want to talk to you about how I fired my hair salon and why is that important? Because maybe you'll find my reasoning not valid. I found it completely valid. That doesn't really matter. The topic really is about what we are allowing to be acceptable in our life 
now and it's all spurred by this whole corona thing because that's what has caused people to change it has caused us to see true colors in some people so everybody has changed in some way and some people are just like really angry and nasty in general i know on facebook that if i post anything even if it's a fact people will want to fight and argue about it if they don't like the fact and they will think that their thinking is the fact when the fact is the fact but they still want to just keep fighting about it and fighting and fighting and arguing it's like i can't even post anything on facebook without somebody attacking me in some cases it feels like virtual tar and feathering so yeah things have changed people are changed some people can't handle their stress and uh, the way that they show they're not handling it is the way they treat people on social media for instance probably in their regular lives too but uh, i don't know i don't see them in their regular lives but yeah uh, it's not very becoming a lot of people are very odd and and the worst part of that is they're not aware of it and it, in some cases it's people i've known for 20 years that i have pretty much gotten along with and i'm not saying that we have to have the same beliefs but just like you post one thing and they're just going to throw out their negative attitude regardless of what it is it's like do you did you really need to make that comment is that really helpful and i might be sharing something really important but because they're having a negative aspect of it themselves they try to turn other people off from it which is really weird it's really weird yeah i don't like it and so i'm really considering unfriending a lot of people on my facebook of people that have literally been friends of mine for 20 years and they may not be like friends i see in person but they are yeah they're friends it's weird but i'm willing to do it because if people have changed or maybe they're showing their two colors i don't know which probably it's different for different people but um if they're changed that much and they just are their energy is gross like i don't want them to be in my friends list because energy matters even if you don't see the person and so let's get back to the topic of why i fired my hair salon so you know hair salons haven't been open but here they have opened and the hair salon like you know they they had to do some things like masks and all that stuff but uh, when i spoke to my hair person stylist i don't know what the technical name is for them i was asking her about this treatment that i get um, every so often and i didn't i wasn't saying i needed it at this point but she said oh well this is the name but i can't do that for you because we're not blow drying hair at this time <laughs> and i'm like what what do you mean you're not blow drying hair you're not going to blow dry anybody's hair that comes to get their hair done and she said no and i'm like that is ridiculous like i said hair salon i didn't say great clips or super cuts i said hair salon that would imply that this is a a more luxury class operation and people go there so when they leave they feel good they feel pretty they feel put together they're happy that their hair looks great but you're telling me you're gonna just cut and color people's hair and send them out like a wet rat jeez this plant does not want to come out of here i mean this is ridiculous i hope i don't kill this plant so um i'm like so you know you're just gonna send them out like a wet rat and she's like yeah 
Um, it wasn't her decision, it was the salon owner's decision. And I said, I think she has her priorities mixed up because I know that most of your clientele are, you know, older, 40s and up, and they're not gonna wanna get their hair done and then go home and try to style it themselves. Like, and when you color your hair, usually you don't wash your hair for a few days. So it's like if I got home, my hair would be like air dried by then because it's not that close to me, which is why I actually wanted to get another hair place to go to. So that's part of the story too, because it is far and since it got taken over by another owner, it's just never been the same since the original owner left. So anyway, it really bugged me. It really bugged me that they weren't gonna dry your hair. And the reason was because they had so many people that needed their hair done, they, need, they wanted to get them in and out faster. And so it wasn't like some mandated, I asked her, I said, so is this, a, I assume this is a mandated rule from the state. And she didn't say no. She didn't say yes, she didn't say no. So I assumed it was. And so I actually looked online for what the mandate was, what the rules were, and that rule was not a rule. So basically I told, I told my, my hair person, so basically she just isn't wanting to serve her clients completely for the sake of getting people in and out. That's not right. That is not right. It's not professional. It's not salon, salon level professional. I was so bugged. And then she's just like, listen, do you want the appointment on Sunday or not? And she didn't say or not. She said, so do you want the appointment on Sunday? Like she was trying to get me off of the um, subject, which bugged me too, because it's like, don't just try to like push me off like that, like I'm irritating you. So I made the, I said, yes, put me down, but I probably will not book another appointment. I'm gonna find another place to go after this. So she made the appointment and like a day went by and I was just still so irritated by it, still so irritated by it that I sent her a message the next day and I said, give my appointment to someone else. This is just bugging me too much and I don't wanna be bugged and I know when I go in and sit in the chair, I'm gonna be bugged and I know when I walk out with wet hair, I'm gonna be bugged. You don't even know if your hair looks good. You don't know if she cut it well. You don't know if the color looks good enough. You don't know. And then you're just gonna go home and figure it out yourself after you've paid good money to get your hair done. So this is my mom's house plant. And I hope that it survives this repotting because I have done repotting before and they have not always survived. Um, and there, this guy's closing up his leaves and usually he doesn't do that until it's nighttime. During the day the leaves open and at night they close. So I don't know if that's like a protection mechanism or what, but that pot it was in was way too small. Where is it? And when she got this, it only had like three of these and it was like dying. And then a friend of my mom's like, your plant's dying. And look at all these that I pulled off. That's sad. I'm sorry, plant. Um, and he took it and he, and he brought it back. So I hope it stays that way. So anyway, isn't that pretty? That's for the living room. This plant does not like to be outside and it's such a pretty, pretty plant. Okay, so anyway, yeah. So I told her I wouldn't be back and she said, oh, let's just keep in, we'll keep in touch. Like I'm gonna come back, I'm not going back. Now let me get to the other part. So I have wanted to get a new salon for a while now because it is far and like I said it has not been the same it has not been the same since the other owner left so my point is like this is a 
this is a result of the whole corona thing but i have wanted to leave that salon for a long time now and i just didn't do it and you know how when you you feel like you should go to another place like start seeing someone else i'm not talking about a love relationship but it could be that or just you know hire a new gardener this friend really isn't a friend you should end that friendship or change that friendship or whatever fire that employee i mean it could be any number of things right but then you just put it off you're just like ah that's all right like i'll just do it for now and you don't change it so i've been doing that with this hair salon for a long time and and then basically what happens if you wait too long like i did then eventually something's going to happen to force you to leave or change or do whatever it was that you knew you needed to do a long time ago so basically yeah this was because of the virus but really it happened because it needed to happen and i needed to be pushed to make it happen so that's my point right there wow i needed a bigger pot than this whoa that's not gonna work This needs a much bigger pot. Oh well. I think this is the same. I get I'll try this one. That's too bad because it's such a I want like really vibrant colors out here. And I thought that would look so pretty with the pink flowers. Um so yeah what happens is if there's something that you know you need to do and you just put it off eventually something's gonna happen whether it happens with that other person or place or you to make you that's really the same issue Aww. i'm sad I am sad. Well, let me just try. Is that the same size? That's the same size. I'm going to try to make this work. Maybe take out some of this dirt. I'm a real professional when it comes to planting. Not. I know enough. Can't be that hard, right? Stick the flowers in dirt. That's it. So the problem is I can't get in and fill the sides. I think I need a bigger pot. This is not going to work. And that is so sad. So sad. Guess my potting's done today. Anyway, yeah, so if you don't do what you need to do, eventually the universe will balance things out to make it happen. So it just happened to happen this way, but it should have happened a long time ago. If I listened to myself, I wasn't really that thrilled about going there. And so take that as something for you to learn. If there's some place, some person, some situation some service that you're getting and you know that you want to find somebody else or you know you need to walk away or you know you need to change something about it it's better to just do it than wait for the universe to give you an opportunity this opportunity really wasn't such a bad thing really but sometimes when you wait it out and then the universe shifts it and makes it change it's usually in a very uncomfortable, not the way that you would prefer it to be. So it's always best to take your cue and know if I need to go or I need to change something, just do it. Don't wait around. So that's the moral of this story. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you today. And I hope that you apply it to your life. If there's something that's not quite working for you, hasn't been working for a long time,
do something about it because you don't want the opportunity of it happening when it's completely out of your hands because a lot like i said a lot of times it's not going to be the best situation the most comfortable situation it might be really awkward so yeah you be in charge of your life you take care of the things in your life you make the decisions in your life and you make the changes that you know you need to change anyway thank you for joining me and my mess if you have had a similar situation maybe not a hair salon but something where you knew you should go and you waited and then something happened to make you do it share that in the comments i'd love to hear about it or if you did choose to make the move without waiting for the universe to give you an opportunity share that too i'd love to hear what's going on with you and your relationships to people businesses all the things since you've been dealing with this coronavirus thing i'm sure everybody has a story about how a friend has been different how acquaintances that before used to be pleasant are not anymore or some way that people or relationships or things have changed in your life i'd love to hear from you put it in the comments below if you're not subscribed please click on it and click on the notification bell and give me a like and share too if you're willing to thank you everyone and i'll see you again super soon